Hello everybody, my name is Senior Computer Man and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. We are in episode 2 now. I'm sick. That, that, that's all you need to know. The disclaimer right now. Alright, and let's uh, get moving. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! <laughs> I know. I'm surprised it took this long too. Do you want a hug? I'm okay. Yeah. For sure. Okay. <laughs> Chloe's so awkward. Thanks. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess. Did she get off the <coughs> Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. <coughs> anyway, what are you doing here? Uh. I figured I'd see the Tempest anyway. I was going to text you, actually. I got two tickets in case you changed your mind. Oh, thanks, I guess. Yeah? So you in? Might help you take your mind off things. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. Yes, I might as well. You should see what I got myself expelled for. Sweet. Glad I got the extra ticket. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to stick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. It, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. About damn time. David. Hey. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. <coughs> I don't care. I know. That's what we need to talk about. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. What are you gonna do? Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? There's nothing wrong with waiting tables. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Maybe... I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. <coughs> right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Screw you. What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me. <laughs> swore at me. Heck yeah, dude. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. See, that's the thing. No matter what happens in this game, it doesn't matter because the future game, the game before this one, you know, the main first. Why'd you have to do a prequel? Are you still going to date my mom? Of course. And will you still be coming to our house? I plan to. Then I say, go fuck yourself. That's what I thought. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. 
like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, <coughs> I'm going to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. <coughs> Why? Fuck. If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go. Close. No fresh start. Wait, Future sure. game. It's a good thing we didn't grab that joint. Or at least Justin took it, right? I'm gonna comply because we don't got anything on us. You wanna see my shit so badly? Oh, cigarettes. End it later. <laughs> you know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? <coughs> sure. As long as you promise to never speak to this asshole again. Chloe. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. Mm. I think not. Where'd they go? Hey, there is <coughs> not a piece there. <coughs> Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. I will not do anything in this game to comply with David. Because David is a not so nice word. <coughs> I hate him. I hate David so much. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? <laughs> 
Blackhall's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Jeez. Chloe's truck is in the junkyard. We saw it last last time. Not last episode, but in the last episode. I hate these things. Um, I think that's it right there, actually, in the left corner. Yep, there it is. See, I told you. I told you. Her truck is there. This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If <coughs> never run again. Again. Hold on, hold on, okay, this is something I want to talk about. So they had a problem with her abusing drugs, as he said, <coughs> and alcohol, with, I think, no evidence of her ever doing that. Because if we remember correctly, I don't think we drank anything, or no, I think we did. I can't remember. I don't think there was any way for them to know that we were doing anything illegal like that. But she did have a pack of cigarettes on her. But they're okay with her having a pack of cancer sticks on her than, like, anything else. Whatever. Then it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Oh my. <coughs> Damn. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Okay. I bet if I look, I can find something else to fix inside the truck. Ah, there it is. 
Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Now let's leave. Okay. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps. Got it. There's so much stuff that we have not even really cared to look at. Another letter to Max. <coughs> that I'll never send. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max. That's sad. I can't believe Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I... <coughs> okay, let's climb down. Let's go fix our crappy car. Wow, practically good as new. And last but certainly not least. out shopping cart it probably drives like one too that's if it ever does drive which seems questionable still <coughs> how sweet would that be it'd be pretty sweet What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. <laughs> We've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about? Oh, like drugs? Right. <laughs> I'm hanging out in the junkyard north of town. The junkyard. That's great. Stay there. I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you 
I be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon. Well, that's not scary. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think so. You only get one chance to make a first expression. <coughs> Frightening all the way. This'll <coughs> give Trevor something to think about. Yeah, let's kill ourselves slowly. Is she going to sleep? <laughs> yep. With a cigarette lit in her hand. But I'm gonna cut it there. Sorry, we are getting close to that 30 minutes. I'm very curious to see what the little spin on the whole dream thing is gonna be again because it's always been her in the backseat of the car with her dad. <coughs> but it's changed every now and then. Alright, so I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Subscribe, like, and share if you like what I'm doing here. Uh, if not, why are you at the end of this? I don't know. <coughs> Still sick. We'll probably be sick for the next episode. Goodbye, and thank you for watching.